in all three dimensional um, modeling softwares there is um, there is a fundamental need of storing away your um, presets for the various commands which you have so that you can quickly recall the presets and use them later so in commerces for example in every single macro you will find so if i were to press shift and open the beam to beam end plate macro uh, you will see that you, you you are able to enter lots and lots of uh, different parameters but then you can also save them away save the entire set away as a macro preset you can give it a name you can press the save button and you can give it a name and that that entire set of all the variables which you've entered will be saved away and this you will uh, this will save you time because the next time you want to do a similar situation you can just go to your macro presets uh, load the particular preset say load say apply and then just uh, start using it so this is a fundamental need which is there for um, there in uh, most um, advanced modeling programs in commerces this is uh, actually commerces wide uh, it's not just macros but uh, so for example if i were to open the beam command with the shift button you even over here you have this uh, this preset which you can save basically any command which you have in commerces you, you can save the way the settings as presets and then recall them uh, later uh, in this video i want to talk about uh, this feature as well as uh, the more important side of this feature which we have in Commosis, which is auto presets. And that's something which is very important and I want to talk about it. So let's start uh, this video by first explaining how to use the presets. So uh, over here I have a situation in which there's a main beam and there are secondary beams framing into it. And this one is IPE 300. So let me, let's say I want to use the uh, fin plate connection for that and if I just go without doing anything just go to my fin plate command select the main select the secondary right click three times um, to get the connection by the way uh, let me just also explain because this is something I've been saying in other videos as well why we need to right click three times uh, first of all you can uh, you can even select uh, if, the, if this was a column you could you could have selected the doubler plate over there and then the fin plate would have been adjusted or you can you can select top stiffeners and bottom stiffeners and those are since those are not here that's why we have the right clicks and we also have this option of selecting some uh, horizontal bracing which might be coming uh, framing into the same area because if uh, it, you might have a situation where you might want to include the forces of those horizontal bracing uh, in the um, analysis so th th there are reasons why we do the right click but in any case let me right click and finish that so this is the this is the default behavior which we get, let's say. And let's say I don't, I don't want this. I, I, I want uh, in my company to uh, connect IPE 300s in a different way. So right now this is selected uh, M16 bolts. It is like selected three M16 bolts. Let me just double click on the macro, open them. And uh, I go over here and I want to change uh, this, uh, these settings a bit. So I want to, instead of having uh, three bolts, I want four bolts, let's say. And I want the distance to be between them to be 50, 50 and this one uh, zero. Uh, by the way, uh, this, there's a general comment regarding when you're entering bolt distances, always remember to enter both the x and the y directions so don't live uh, when you when you want to enter when you want to enter something manually you need to enter uh, both sides of the equation and the reason for that is because commosis tries to do a design and since there are many combinations which can happen regarding the edge distance and this uh, distances and this and that so whenever you either you leave it blank and let it decide on its own but if you're going to enter the bolt distances, then make sure you enter them on both directions. This is something we get from our users um, a lot, that they just enter one side and they, they, and they say that nothing happened. It didn't change. Uh, and the reason for that is because they didn't enter the other, other side. So always make sure that these uh, four or five variables over here are usually entered uh, together. In any case, let's, uh, let's say I want uh, four bolts like that. Uh, maybe I even want the distance to be 55. Uh, make it a bit bigger then I also wanted to catch the bottom flange so let's select that 
and do something like this. Uh, and uh, for the thickness of the fin plate, maybe I want uh, the thickness to be slightly uh, bigger, slightly thicker. And so now this is this is the kind of uh, fin plate connection which which I want. So now that I'm happy with uh, the way I want my IP IPE 300 beams to be connected uh, to other beams through fin plates, I can go to my macro presets tab over here and uh, say save this away. So I've got my settings in there. Obviously, I've made the changes. I've made the thickness and uh, changes, etc. Go. To, I go to my macro presets and I say save, and I can give it a name. Now this name can be anything, but it's it's a good practice to basically give the name of of the of of the of the secondary beam because it you can remember it more easily. This, these are the settings I want for IP 300s. You can obviously give it any arbitrary name, but this is a better choice. Uh, and I save that away as IPE 300. And now, uh, now for example, if if I were to apply, uh, so this one is also IPE 300. If I were to now go in there and go to my fin plate connection and apply it over here, so I select them, and this is what I get uh, over here. But now what I can do is I can select my macro and go to my previously defined preset, which I just did a while ago, and just select that from the list and say load and say OK. And the moment I do that, I get the same result as I got over here. And then I can basically keep go keep doing this wherever I find the, um, uh, an IPE 300 to be connected. Now let's take it one step above. So over here, what I've done is I have uh, so I have these three beams. This is IPE 300, as you know. This one is IPE 200, and this one is IPE 400. And what I've done is I've gone in and I've uh, I've saved a way. I've, I've created the the connection exactly the way I want it to be created. So for in this one, I've created a, a fin plate stiffener. I've given some different dimensions, etc. But then I've gone in and I've saved that away as an IPE 200 preset. And similarly, uh, for the IPE 400 one, I have done the same thing. I've gone in and I've made certain changes uh, and I've saved it away as IPE 400. So now I have three presets uh, saved away. And uh, I have the same thing repeating over here. This is IPE 300. This one is 200. And this one is 400. And if I were to apply, uh, th the way I would go about doing this would now be I would go and apply my uh, fin plate connection over here. Zoom in, press M, enter, go to my list of presets, choose the IP 301, say load, say OK, and then apply this one. Uh, go in there, press M, enter, select the IP 200 one and get that one finished then once again go to my connection apply it over here and this time press m enter and select the ip 401 say load and press ok so this is the way i would normally be going about uh, doing my connection since i've already have them saved away uh, so i can just go and select from my presets and uh, keep applying them now, those of you who are into steel detailing and 3D modeling will uh, will be thinking a few thoughts, and I know exactly what they're thinking. And those thoughts are that in in steel in steel work, uh, you now in this case, for example, I've got three presets, but realistically speaking, these could be 300 presets if you consider all the possible sizes of beams, the IP sections, INP sections, UPE sections, HEA, HEB, all of them are possible uh, situations. And what? And each one of them probably has about uh, 20, 30 different uh, section sizes. So what is right now uh, quite manageable on the screen, if I were to actually enter my company standards and actually enter uh, my company standards for all the possible sections which we use in our day-to-day -day detailing, then this list will, will actually become a nightmare. And what will happen is that this list will become so long that actually scrolling through it and selecting the right one 
itself will now become start becoming uh, a hassle on its own. So just like the whole purpose of doing this was to not enter uh, these variables every single time, and I know this uh, it will still be easier than doing that. But for sure, once you start running into uh, hundreds of uh, possibilities, then merely selecting from this and this list will get so long that you'll need to scroll down and your, your squint your eyes and uh, you know exactly exactly what I'm talking about. Those those of you who have actually tried creating these presets for hundreds of different cases will know exactly what I'm talking about. So is there a solution to this problem of having extremely long lists from which you need to choose uh, from every single time? So to, uh, to tell you about the solution, let me first give you some basic information that when you save away these uh, presets with a different name. So, for, for example, this is IPE 400. They are saved away in a file with an extension of MPR, MPR standing for macro presets. So, uh, whatever the name you give it, so if it's IPE 400, the file will be IPE 400.mpr. That will be the name of, uh, of the file in which that preset is stored. Now, uh, I want to take you to this this button over here, which takes you to the preferences directory folder of Commosis. And if I press that, you've got lots of files and directories over here, but let me just move down to the fin, since we're talking about the fin plate connection, let me move down. And we get to this file called the fin plate connection macro preset overrides. Now, the, this is the general format. You, you will, they, they will all end with macro preset overrides. So for example, you have uh, beam to beam angle fleet connection macro preset override. These three last three uh, words will be the same macro preset override, and in the beginning you will see the name of the connection. So oh, in our case, it is fin plate connection macro preset override. Now, if I were to double click on this file uh, over here, I've, I've got an empty file. It just has the, has the header over there, and I can now enter uh, a line, and I can say if you see an IPE 300 profile. Then I press the tab key to give us give a space between the two. You, if I, if you see an IPE 300, use the IPE 300.mpr file. Similarly, if you use the if you see an IPE 200 profile tab, use the IPE 200.mpr file. Similarly, if you see the IPE 400 profile. Then use the IPE 400.mpr file, and I can save this away uh, in my company standards. And now, when I do that, something interesting happens. So let me just go and uh, delete uh, these three macros, and let me go and try use using the fin plate again. Uh, normally, if I, what I did previously was I would first apply the fin plate macro and then go to my macro preset, select it from the list, and then load it and apply it again to, to modify it. Now, let me go and select the, the beam, the secondary beam, apply it, select the main, the secondary, apply it, select the main, the secondary, and apply it. And immediately what's happening is that it is going to my company standards it is going to my project preferences uh, directory. It's going to the fin plate, um, to the fin plate connection macro over, uh, macro preset override file. It's it's finding it's going through this file and it's finding whether whether an MPR has been defined for that particular section. And if it ha if it has been de uh, defined, then it will just pull out that particular MPR and apply it directly. This is what we call auto uh, auto presets for macros. And this is extremely beneficial because once you have them set up for your main macros, you can lit you can literally be sure that your company standards are being applied uh, everywhere. And you can just go click, 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 click. And there's no, uh, even if you have hundreds of cases stored away as company presets, you will you, you can be assured that uh, the, uh, the, the proper parameters of the macros will be will be pulled in from those pre presets applied and then used in uh, uh, in the case in which you're trying to use them now this very powerful system is currently available for most of your main connections so it's available for your beam to beam end plate connections for your stiffen end plate connection for your fin plate connection for your angle cleat for your apex haunch for example 
It's available for your beam to column connections. I mean, these are the connections which, which comprise uh, most of your building. There are all, it is also available for some base plate connections, which you can use. And I'll be talking about that in, uh, in a second because there's something special to show over there. But basically what you need to do is you, can, you need to go in there in the, in the project preferences directory and look for files which end with macro preset override. And those will, and next to that will be the name of the, will be the name of the macro. And then you can just double click on those and add as many sections as you want, uh, according to your company needs. So basically go through, go to this preferences directory and, uh, just choose, uh, the, uh, the appropriate macro preset override file, fill it up. First of all, obviously save away the macro presets and then fill up this file and then just distribute those files throughout your company and then everybody will be using the same standards. Now, let me give an example of this base plate macro with the same uh, auto preset feature, but uh, it's slightly different, so I want to talk about it. So here I've got two columns. They're both, they're both HEA 300. This one is HEA 300 as well as this one, but the, uh, the bases have been uh, fixed differently. So this one has a fixed base, all the degrees of freedom have been fixed, whereas this one has a hinged base. So the rotational degrees of freedom are uh, are free to move. Now, uh, obviously, we uh, for a hinged one, we'll make a different connection. Uh, and for the fixed one, we'll, we'll make a different connection. But the sections are the same. So if I were to go in uh, over here and enter my macro, what I've done is I have, um, I have uh, put in certain uh, variables for the stiffness. I have put in certain numbers over there and I've saved them away with the name of uh, HEA 300 fixed. So this is the name I've, uh, I've given it, HEA 300 F. Uh, but for the other one, which is a hinged connection, uh, what I've done is I have uh, gone inside and I have removed all the stiffness because this is a hinged connection. I have also um, made some changes in the type with which the bolting will be done and i've changed the locations so this one as you can see is uh, is completely different from the other one there are some different sized uh, anchor bolt holes etc but the, the the point is that the profiles are the same and our auto connect or rather auto preset feature basically looks for a certain section name uh, and then applies a certain uh, preset so, but in this case, we've got the same section name, but we've got two different presets depending on whether it's hinged or it's fixed. Now, if I were to go, so this particular case is slightly different. So if I were to go to my base plate uh, macro preset override file over here and double click that, you will see that this particular one has a slightly different format. There's a profile name. So I, I'm saying that whenever you see an HEA 300 section, now there are two files, MPR files I've given it. One for the fixed base case and one for the hinged base case. So what I'm telling is that if you see an HEA 300 and if it is fixed, if the, if the joint has been fixed, then use this preset. But if you, if the joint at the end has been, uh, is hinged or has been given the, uh, restraints according to, uh, similar to a hinge, then use this particular preset. So this one is HEA 300 F. This one is HEA300H. Now, having set up my file like that, if I were to now just, uh, so these, these two columns are also HEA300. This one is fixed. This one is hinged. If I were to go to my base plate macro, just click on that. Immediately, the, the, the preset for the fixed case is applied. But if I were to select, um, apply the same macro to this column, the preset for the hinged case would be applied. And this is very useful. So you can save away for your columns the hinged cases and the, and the fixed cases as your presets. And then once again, just go click, click around depend, and the, depending on whatever restraints you've given to the joints, the appropriate macro preset will be cho chosen. Obviously, if it's a different uh, profile, it could, if it's HEA 200, if it's HEA 400, then uh, the appropriate preset file will be chosen. Now, those of you who do steel detailing on a daily basis, I'm sure they must have appreciated the value of this uh, auto preset feature. 
because they know that the reason why they don't actually go about creating the presets is because the the number of um, the number of presets runs into hundreds and then it becomes an issue uh, choosing from that long list and also things like whether it's a hinged case or a fixed case and all those things can themselves become an issue so i'm not going to go uh, through all the uh, macros which support this feature i've, I've just given you a, a a brief summary that it's the, all your major connections uh, are supported. Your beam to beam, your beam to column uh, connections are supported. Your base plates are supported, uh, and your purlins are supported. For example, purlins and girts, etc. So your main connections are all supported. And uh, what you need to do is um, the first thing you need to do when you're setting up Comosis in your company is to, and it doesn't take that long, by the way. Uh, when you have a good, um, any give it give give this job to any good detailer, and they will sit down maybe for um, say maximum three four days, and they will uh, basically create your entire company standards and save them away with appropriate names, and then create those uh, MPR correlation files which we just saw the macro preset override files, and uh, they, once they set that up, they can they can forward those files to everybody in the company. And then you basically it's point and shoot, and uh, and the program will be connecting according to your company standards. And those who know detailing, those who are into detailing, they will know that there's there is no comparison between selecting these presets or uh, going through these long lists and not connect, not selecting them, and just uh, just clicking the macros. And uh, the amount of time this can this feature can save you uh, can really be a lot. So this is what I wanted to say about uh, the auto presets for the moment. Uh, and I hope you will really use and love this feature.